Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee here. Weather in five, five days and five minutes. Brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon, New York. Serving the entire New York, New Jersey, Connecticut tri-state area with everything you need for your home or your garden. Whatever it is you need to fix, you can head over to Omni. They serve the entire tri-state area. They've got mulch, topsoil, and of course, come wintertime, Tons and tons and tons of salt. 631-756-1125 is the phone number. The website, omnitruevalue.com. So we've got this conveyor belt of moisture that is coming up from the Gulf states and feeding into what's happening here in the Northeast. Just kind of interesting in terms of how all this rain is playing out. And a lot of that has to do with the tropical storm Earl, which is well east of Florida, well north of Puerto Rico, and well south of Bermuda. It's not a threat to any land area. But what it, it's it been doing is it's been enhancing the ridge off the southeast coast of the United States as it drifts slowly northward, feeding into that ridge and keeping it stronger. That's why it took uh, the rain almost all night into early this morning before it finally reached some of the coastal areas. In the meantime, the fact that it was moving in so slowly to the coast meant that the areas that got into the rain yesterday, and especially last night, got uh, hit pretty hard, with many areas getting two, three, and four inches of rain, particularly uh, in, in southern and southeastern New England, uh, some areas getting uh, over half a foot of rain uh, out of this. So uh, it seems as, as if the areas that were dealing with the uh, drought situation uh, the worst uh, are, are getting uh, the benefit of most of this rainfall. And now even those areas that were left out last night uh, dealing with uh, moderate to heavy rain uh, on the radar, and you can see it here. The back edge is actually now moved out of eastern Pennsylvania, but we do have heavy rain as of 1130 Eastern time over central and southern New Jersey, also in and around New York City. And uh, some moderate rain across Long Island, some moderate to heavy rain in Connecticut uh, and up into Massachusetts. And as we said, in the southeastern New England, as close as that back edge is, it's going to kind of take its time uh, moving through here uh, for this afternoon. So uh, the I, I think everybody's going to wind up with a, a beneficial rainfall out of this. This is the first really widespread uh, rainfall that we've had in many, many weeks, and uh, definitely playing uh, well in terms of the uh, drought situation. Slight risk of 15 to 40 percent risk of flash flooding. We've already seen a number of flood warnings and some flash flood warnings that have played out uh, overnight and this morning, basically from the Delmarva Peninsula all the way up into southeastern New England and uh, up into the Hudson Valley as well. Uh, the uh, risk is probably diminishing now in eastern Pennsylvania. You can also see there's an area of slight risk in the central Appalachians as more moisture continues to feed northward. As, and as far as the rainfall is concerned in terms of the totals, uh, now at least from the standpoint of looking at this from the forecast, it's a little difficult. Uh, since 7 a.m. this morning, WPC was forecasting an additional uh inch and a half to two inches on top of whatever is already fallen. So I think most areas are going to wind up with two to three inches of rain when it's all said and done. And of course, many areas have already kind of passed that. So uh, let's uh, let's go to the GFS and take a look at uh, what it's doing. And I'm also going to show you the European. Now this is from this morning at 7 a.m., uh, this is what the radar is supposed to look like at 1 p.m. It's probably going to be fairly close. You can see the yellows here, the yellow echoes, uh, heavy rains uh, in southern New Jersey still going on. You also see where Earl is with respect to all of this. And we've got this high up in Maine, by the way. We don't want to forget that because that's feeding in the moisture on, a, on an east wind. And then uh, by 7 o'clock tonight, uh, it starts to wind down. It might be doing it a little bit too fast. I think we're just going to have to watch the radars for clues here. Uh, I think the rain may linger for a while in coastal New Jersey and over Long Island during the overnight and maybe even into tomorrow morning. Uh, and actually during the day tomorrow, if we don't get patches of rain or drizzle, it's just going to be an overcast day with temperatures much like they are now in the upper 60s and lower 70s. And then finally, as we move on to Thursday, some slow improvement 
clouds are still going to be around. That onshore flow is going to hold. And then I think we're going to be okay for Friday, Saturday, and for Sunday. Uh, sometime early next week, we've got another weather system. This one headed for the Great Lakes with a trailing cold front that will probably bring some downpours here come next Monday and maybe even into uh, next Tuesday as well. So the pattern uh, suddenly at least opening up opportunities for rainfall here. The other thing I want to point out is that with Earl offshore, as this pulls out, uh, we are going to see, uh, and I've got the dew points up here. You'll notice that the dew points kind of settle down in the 50s uh, for the rest of the week and going into Saturday and even into Sunday, we're holding on to reasonable dew points. So we're not going to be getting back into any kind of tropical humidity. And as for temperatures, I, I think we'll at best maybe be in the 70s on Thursday and Friday and probably upper 70s to some lower 80s for Saturday and Sunday. Weather in 5 is brought to you by Omni True Value Hardware at 1226 North Wellwood Avenue in West Babylon. 631-756-1125 is the phone number. And the website is omnitruevalue.com. Quick look at the tropics here. Of course, you can see Earl uh, getting another burst of convection this morning. And we'll see if it winds up strengthening a bit. It is still forecast to become a hurricane as it tracks northward and then turns northeastward. Uh, you can't see Danielle up in the north central Atlantic. That's moving along. And we have a tropical wave here with which is trying to organize uh, to the uh, northwest of the Cabo Verde Islands. We'll monitor that to see what happens. And there's another stronger wave that will be coming offshore in about a day or two uh, off the African coast. So the tropics uh, will remain busy. If Thankfully, no direct impacts with regards to these tropical storms. But uh, they are influencing the weather across North America. We'll talk more about that tonight on the Joe and Joe Weather Show. And uh, in particular, it's hard to see on the satellite because the NOAA uh, emblem is over it. But that's Hurricane K. And we'll be talking about Hurricane K as it straddles up the west coast of the Baja Peninsula to see whether that brings some rain eventually to parts of Southern California. Uh, We'll see on that. Uh, but in the meantime, that's tonight at 730 on the Joe and Joe Weather Show. So we'll see you then.